It's time to kick off the playoffs. Welcome to PGA Tour Today, presented by MasterCard. Hey everyone, I'm Amanda Balionis. Well, it's finally here after 37 weeks of sweat, blood, and tears. Okay, maybe no blood, but absolutely sweat and tears. The top 125 in the FedEx Cup standings are solidified and ready to compete for the FedEx Cup. It all starts this week in Edison, New Jersey at the Barclays. This is basically a single elimination four-week stretch as each week a large portion of the field will be heading home. To continue on past the Barclays to the next phase of the playoffs, the Deutsche Bank Championship, players in the bottom half of the 125 must jockey themselves in position to get inside the top 100. If not, their journey ends here. Something to think about heading into this week, every player in the field knows that if they just barely made it into the week like William McGirt who finished right at 125, or even if you sit in first place in FedEx Cup standings like Nick Watney, mathematically anyone has a chance to claim at least second in standings with a runner-up finish. There are 2,500 FedEx Cup points waiting for the winner in New Jersey this week. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's take a look at what players are currently sitting in the best positions before round one begins on Thursday. Sitting in first place is Nick Watney, who is one of three players in the top five in FedEx Cup standings to win multiple times this season. The first came at the WGC Cadillac Championship, and then he made his second winning cut at the AT&T National. Combined two victories with his eight top 10 finishes in 2011, and you have a player that will not easily surrender these next four weeks. Watney sits in the top 10 in virtually every statistical category, including second in total putting, fifth in strokes gained putting, and third in scoring average. Watney will be teeing off with last week's winner, Webb Simpson, who now sits in third in FedEx Cup standings, and also with Mr. September, otherwise known as Steve Stricker, who currently sits second in FedEx Cup standings. Stricker is no stranger to entering the playoffs at the top of the points board and leaving near the top for that matter. This is his third consecutive year. Stricker has ended the regular season in second place, and since the playoffs began just four years ago, the veteran has risen to the challenge, marking the only player in PGA Tour playoff history to play in every round of all four events. This could be the year that the two-time winner in 2011 finally breaks through to win the FedEx Cup title. As 1, 2, and 3 tee off at 8.21 a.m. Eastern, 4, 5, and 6 will be teeing off in the afternoon wave, and they are sure to collect quite the following in the Northeast. Number 4 in standings and number 1 in the world, Luke Donald, will be teeing off with recent PGA Championship winner, Keegan Bradley, who I'm pretty sure still hasn't put down the Wanamaker Trophy yet, and rounding out the group is Phil Mickelson. This group of rising stars combined with legendary veterans will tee off at 1.06 p.m. Eastern. Keegan Bradley is the most recent example of the young players really making a statement this season, and we'll see if that trend continues when the pressure is on in the playoffs. Only two players have won events in the playoffs while in their 20s. Camilo Vijegas did it in 2008, and Dustin Johnson did it last year at the BMW Championship. This year, however, look at what an impact the young players on tour have already made. Six rookies have accounted for seven wins, including a major championship, and 13 players in their 20s have made up 14 of the PGA Tour victories in 2011, while there have also been 12 first-time winners on tour this season. Also, this is the first time in the history of the FedEx Cup that two players in their 20s are in the top five in FedEx Cup standings. So now that we've looked at the trends of this season, let's get to our poll question of the week. Of course, you can answer this on PGATour.com or on the PGA Tour Facebook page every Wednesday morning. The question this week was, which player do you think will win the Barclays? A whopping 63% of you think Adam Scott is going to walk away with the victory at the Barclays. And surprisingly, only 6% of you think Luke Donald, who's fourth in FedEx Cup standings and number one in the world right now, will walk away with the victory. Nick Watney, guys, number one in FedEx Cup points, but only 3% of you think he's going to walk away with the win this week. 17% of you think someone else is going to do it. Thanks for everyone who answered. And if you guys start getting these answers right, I'm going to wait to enter my fantasy picks until after the show, because believe me, I need all the help I can get. For more on what's going on out at Plainfield Country Club, let's start out to Brett Wright and Bill Rosinski of the PGA Tour Network. 
Thanks, Amanda. Here at Plainfield Country Club, this is a traditional Donald Ross course. The greens are mounded, a lot of undulation on the putting surfaces, and you're going to see players taking dead aim at these hole locations. They've had a lot of rain in this area, so the greens are soft, and players can be aggressive and take it right at these hole locations. You'll also see them playing below the holes because of the severity of the greens. They want to give themselves an uphill putt they can be aggressive with. The man who can putt this week is the man who will win. Bill? Brett, the opening of any postseason in sports is always exciting, and that's the case for the first round of the Barclays. I talked to Jeff Overton, and he said, you know what? Players didn't understand the point system in the first couple of years, but now we're five years into this. He says they love this event. They know what it took to get into this event, and they know what it's going to take to win it all. I talked to Robert Carlson, who told me this is my first time in the playoffs. It was really something special for him. So there'll be a little bit of nerves out there. There should be some great golf, but it's the opening round of the playoffs, and all the guys playing in this event are very excited about it. And we've got the action for you on PGA Tour Network, live play-by-play -play from noon to 6 Eastern time. Let the playoffs begin. Amanda? Thanks, guys. Try to stay dry up there this week. All right, so remember, our Live Out crew is back for every week of the playoffs. So while you're at work or near a computer, there's no need to go anywhere else. Our pregame show on the tee will begin at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, and our live golf coverage follows immediately after until 6 p.m. See you Thursday. And also, FedEx has launched a new sweepstakes to help fans engage in the excitement of the FedEx Cup. You can enter online or tweet your pick for the leader in the FedEx Cup standings following each tournament. For a chance to win inside the ropes experience at the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola, visit fedexcup.com slash sweeps to enter now. PGA Tour Today is presented by MasterCard, which invites you to play like a PGA Tour player at select TPC courses. MasterCard is a proud sponsor of the PGA Tour.